technology that we currently have um, because of the new launching. And let's be careful about how we talk about it. Some people are saying 18, not 20. It's up to the age of them. It's up to a person's 19th birthday. So let's not undersell the product in any way, shape, or form. Up to the 19th birthday, my ticket uh, will apply. And I think we need to, you know, blow the trumpet loud and clear. But certainly, the reassurance I've been given, it, it is going to be a success. And it's actually an investment to our long term strategy of getting more people to use public transport. If we've got these, this audience from 15 up to 19, those habits will be set and they will continue to be our customers, uh, whatever form of transport. So I think it's a, 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 an excellent. And uh, amazingly, it worked. the first question when I come on, come on and I spoke to Mary, the first question when I come on, I said, one of the things I'm really interested in, I get a lot of gripes off young people. And in the short two years I've been on this authority, we've achieved something against the backdrop of public spending costs. Absolutely amazing, and I'm really, really excited about it. So we've gone from a bar on the point moment to a liberated moment. That's correct. That, actually, I'm, a, I'm glad you're as tight as John. We've <laughs> 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 got Mark next. I always tell you about like you're a can I just, just for some national context, can I ask for a comment from one of the officers where this puts us national? Um, as regards to having a project like this, we're first in the country to be doing this. Um, there are similar, similar uh, discounts, but not a similar ticket in the in the country. So um, a lot of the publicity that we do um, and the work that we do as regards the stakeholders. Continue. There's still lots more to do, but whilst we've always been really, really proud of what we do for older people and disabled people, it's great we're now doing something really good for young people as well. And it's, it's superb as well in the fact that kind of this is a product of a really tough negotiation. And I know how hard the officers have been working on getting this over the line, but fundamentally getting more value for the money we actually spend on the bus network. You know, this isn't going to cost us extra money. It's using the money we already spent much, much better. So there's a great kind of imperative with that. It's wonderful that we're the first place outside of London to be doing something for young people up to their 19th birthday. 
and I think it's great not only are we doing this, we can use this as a best practice case example. Only last week, Mary Rimmer, the UMP for St Helens South, was standing up in the House of Commons, arguing our corner about doing more for young people up to their 19th birthday. The fact she can go down there and sort of buck well Patrick McLaughlin, as she is doing, saying actually, we're sorting it out in our patch. Why don't the government follow suit and do more, not just here, but right across the rest of the country, is testament to all of our efforts. But I think kind of Mary's point is exactly the right point. It's a brilliant victory for this organisation, for our city region. It's a great victory for the young people. Okay, if you think about those kind of uh, testimonies we have from down and down the last meeting, it were representing thousands of young people across this city region. And I also think about the young lad Stephen Price who launched that um, online petition, um, young lad from Bootle, um, arguing for a better deal for, for young people. Um, that was always a challenge because every time someone signed it, I got an email, so I literally got thousands of them. But that just goes to show that we've got some really active, energetic young people banging the drum for a much better deal uh, for them on the transport network. And at the end of the day, what we should never, ever forget the young people of our city region, not just the future of our transport network, but the future of our city region. It's entirely right. We give them a much better deal than they've had in the past. So, again, I can't sum up how delighted we are with this as the latest bit of progress, and we're really looking forward to other things following in the months and years ahead. So, with all of that in mind, if I can move the um, recommendations in paragraph two of the report, be agreed. There's no other AOBs, so I thank everyone for their attendance and we will see you next week. Thank you.